हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो आज दो क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन करने वाले हैं और दोनों क्वेश्चन बहुत फ्रिक्वेंटली uh, ये डिफरेंट एग्जाम में डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम इन डिफरेंट स्टेट एज वेल एज इन जे आर एफ नेट ये पूछा जाता है राइट बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम वाटर मैनेजमेंट एंड मैं इसीलिए आपको बार बार बोलता हूँ कि आपका कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड या फिर कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड आप हमें क्वेरी सेक्शन में डालिए आप कमेंट सेक्शन में डालिए हम उसको क्वेरी करेंगे और उसको उसका सॉल्यूशन आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे क्योंकि पढ़ाने के लिए तो बहुत सारा चीज़ है एग्रोनॉमी में लाइक यू विल नीड एटलीस्ट यू नो थ्री फोर ईयर्स टू स्टडी एग्रोनॉमी इफेक्टिवली टू गो डीप बट हमको कैसे पता चलेगा आपका कहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है तो इसीलिए मैं बार बार बोलता हूँ कि कहीं पर भी कोई न्यूमेरिकल में कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है या फिर कोई कॉन्सेप्ट में आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो आप कमेंट करके बताओ ठीक है तो ये दोनों भी एक स्टूडेंट का ही क्वेरी था एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक टू द स्टूडेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ द वेट ऑफ मॉइस्ट सॉयल एंड वाटर फ्री और ओवन ड्राई सॉयल आर 100 ग्राम एंड 80 ग्राम रेस्पेक्टिवली द परसेंटेज ऑफ सॉयल मॉइस्चर विल बी सो वेन एवर वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट द सॉयल मॉइस्चर ऑफ द सॉयल Uh, the moisture content of the soil there are two uh, broadly uh, there are two different type of methods one is uh, direct method of soil moisture measurement another one is indirect method of soil moisture measurement in direct method what we do we have to take the destructive sample at a certain depth like 0 to 15 cm or 15 to 30 cm at a certain depth we have to take the soil sample and by auger we have to take the soil sample and we have to take it in a moisture box and we have to keep it in oven that is hot air oven at 105 degree celsius for around 24 to 48 hours uh, till the uh, weight will remain constant so after that acha uh, before uh, placing the uh, the moisture box we have to take the fresh weight how we will take the fresh weight fresh weight of the soil of the soil that is the weight of the fresh soil weight of fresh soil plus uh, weight of the moisture box right okay fresh weight of the soil is acha uh, this is the total weight so after you put the uh, soil in the moisture box so then uh, you have to keep it on uh, weighing balance then you have to deduct the weight of moisture box to find out the weight of fresh soil right so this is your weight of fresh soil and uh, here it is given 100 g another one is oven dry soil after oven drying that soil up to 24 to 48 hours up to a uh, constant weight uh, then uh, what is the oven dry weight of soil oven dry weight of soil uh, that is 80 g it is given okay so oven dry weight of soil is given then moisture percentage moisture percentage will be the weight of fresh soil weight of fresh soil minus weight of oven dry soil divided by weight of oven dry soil into 100 okay so what is the weight of fresh soil 100 g minus weight of oven dry soil 80 g divided by weight of oven dry soil that is 80 g 80 so that will be acha into 100 so we have to find out in percentage so that will be 20 minus uh, 20 divided by 80 into 100 so it will come 25 percent so the correct answer will be 25 percent right so this is how you will find the this is called gravimetric moisture content gravimetric moisture content acha and this the, the unit here is percentage if you want to try or convert it into volumetric moisture content then whatever moisture content you have that is gravimetric moisture content you have to multiply bulk density of that soil bulk density of that soil to find out the volumetric volumetric moisture content okay to find out the volumetric moisture content you have to multiply the bd so here according to the question if this type of question comes so you have to uh, you have to uh, use this formula moisture percentage is equal to weight of fresh soil minus weight of oven dry soil weight of fresh soil i am repeating weight of fresh soil minus weight of oven dry soil divided by weight of oven dry soil okay next thing is uh, 
अच्छा दिज वेयर सम अफ द डायरेक्ट मेथड लाइक ग्राविमेट्रिक मेथड भल्यूमेट्रिक मेथड देन योर जिप्सम सब्सन प्लग देन अल्कोहल बर्निंग मेथड दिज आर सम अफ द डायरेक्ट मेथड डायरेक्टली वी आर एस्टिमेटिंग द सइल मॉइस्चर स्टाटस देन अनदर वेयर द अनदर आर द इनडाइरेक्ट मेथड अफ मॉइस्चर कंटेंट हुए आर वी जेनेली कालकुलेट द एनर्जी लेवल अफ द सइल सइल व्टर पोटेनसीयल अफ द सइल व्टर इनडाइरेक्टली we have to take the graph like so, from soil moisture curve characteristic curve we can estimate the uh, the moisture content okay so to know about uh, to more uh, to know more about this type of uh, you know concept so you can refer to my uh, uh, our youtube channel uh, there already the lecture has been given like how to draw uh, soil moisture what is soil moisture constant how to draw soil moisture characteristic of all these things have already uh, been uploaded there next question uh, of the student was if the iw by cp ratio iw by cp ratio is 1.2 then uh, irrigation depth is 6 cm what will be the cp value here i w by cp ratio it is used for irrigation scheduling okay irrigation scheduling means scheduling when to when we should irrigate the crop okay that is irrigation scheduling that is i w by cp ratio uh it is being used for irrigation scheduling there are different types of irrigation scheduling so mostly um here this is a one climatological approach of irrigation scheduling so here it is given i w by cp ratio is given that is uh, 1.2 so here iw means irrigation water irrigation water that is in mm or 6 uh, or centimeter here it is in centimeter so 6 centimeter irrigation water you have to apply then cp value means crop pan crop pan evaporation value crop pan evaporation value we as we know that uh, evaporation is continuous process in every day every hour every moment there is evaporation some water is lost from the ground so when water depletes from the soil when water depletes from the ground level then after a certain period that uh, soil will be dried out so you have to irrigate or we have to irrigate we have to provide artificial method of uh, you know water application that is called irrigation so after a certain period after a cumulative evaporation rate when it reaches a critical value then we have to irrigate so here this is the cp value crop and evaporation value so that will be again in millimeter or centimeter so here it is mentioned that uh, acha what is our formula that is iw by cp cp is equal to 1.2 here and this is fixed for different crop okay and different critical growth stages so here iw is 6 cm divided by cp that is cumulative pan evaporation evaporation data is equal to 1.2 so what will be the cp value cp will be 6 by 1.2 so 60 by 12 uh, that is 5 yes or no yes that is 5 cm okay so when cp value reaches 5 cm you have to irrigate 6 cm water that indicates that okay we have to irrigate 6 cm water when when it reaches the cp value reaches 5 cm okay so this is how you can calculate so basically iw by cp ratio is used for irrigation scheduling and whatever iw uh, by cp ratio is that means 1.2 here it is according to this it is according to question it is 1.2 it may be 0.8 it may be 0.6 then iw whether you are applying uh, 3 cm water per irrigation or 5 cm water per irrigation or 6 cm water per irrigation divided by cp value that is the cumulative pan evaporation or crop pan evaporation value okay so this is how you can uh, calculate this again i am uh, repeating that if you have you are facing any doubt on any concept or any numerical section you can ask me in the comment section or you can directly uh, dm me in uh, over our telegram channel right so 